What a guy. What a fun guy. Brilliant climber. Great fun. Positive member in the community. Great coach as well. Turns out he's not bad at climbing either. Now we're going to continue to see this fast pace from all the athletes. Climbers now know pace is everything here. Dirk Tyler's tuned in. My favorite blue eyed judge. He was with us in Rabenstein and we've missed him ever since. He was with us here last year. We're happy to have judges from all over the world. So a few people are asking, what's the goal of this? The goal is to get to the top. Within the time allotted. In the fastest time possible within the time allotted without making any mistakes, without falling off. That's the goal. And have fun while doing it. Yeah, that's also a goal. Failing that, not the fun bit, the top bit, the goal is to get higher than everybody else within the time allotted. Which has mostly been the goal this weekend. We have seen very few tops in the previous rounds. Also being asked how tall are the competitors, it's, uh, uh, it's William that's contacted us on the Extreme channel. He says, do we know how tall the competitors are? I imagine height would be a big advantage and they appear quite short. This is a great question. But I have to say you're wrong in terms of height being an advantage. Height can be an advantage. It can also be a disadvantage. Sometimes there are small spaces uh, and bunched up moves that being tall is a disadvantage for. Uh, sometimes there are big moves that being tall is a big advantage for. It's all about training, technique. Dengin, who is one of our shorter competitors, is incredibly dynamic. Last week in Hohot, we saw him launch all points off. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon style. It was spectacular. Yeah. It was just incredible to watch. Very fun. He was not stressed about that move at all, was he? No, nope, he trained that. And so that can be a method. And of course, using your height can be a method too. I like to use the phrase, use what you've got. Yeah, you can't use what you haven't got, so use what you've got. Make it work. That's fair. Thanks, Kendra. <laughs> so Dengin now moving onto the ice box, cuts loose immediately and throws the left leg into the fig nine, flicks it over into a figure four. And he's already pre-clipped that draw where we saw Luna moving backwards but not climbing backwards. Clipping in this horizontal train, there's also strategy to it in, in not getting caught up in the rope while you're doing your figure fours and figure nines. And so it can be ni very nice to clip behind you in that train. Like so that. that? Yep, exactly like that. A few people are asking about the materials that we're seeing here. So the ice box is literally frozen water. It's cast uh, in a mold and then holes are drilled out, which allow the climbers to place the picks instead of having to swing the picks into them. You can see those blue holes. The other materials, uh, the wall structure itself is made from plywood, which is mounted onto steel. And the holds, which are the coloured bits <laughs> that the climbers are thro throwing their axes into are made from a variety of materials. Talk us through some of those materials, Kendra. Oh, look at that! Dengin's making a new old! Which is allowed. <laughs> it's allowed. Not recommended. Interesting. I wonder why he didn't... Because he's going to skip this move. This is Dengin all over. Yesterday we saw him skip the crux move because it looked too difficult, too imprecise, too sketchy. And he's about to do it again. I'm sure he's going to skip a move, Kendra. Kendra. 
Can you tell if there's a red line on oh, top of hasn't. that box? He hasn't skipped the move. Okay. But well, he's gone about it a different way. Yep. He's a thinker. He's always thinking about the best way to climb these routes, not necessarily the way that the route setters want everybody to climb it. Come on, Alexi Dengen. Kuzovlev has fallen there. Luna Ladivant has fallen there. There it is. But Alexi Dengen has moved through the sequence. And he took that as a wrap, as a hang, instead of a full under. Oh, oh he's good, isn't he? He is so good. Alexi Dengen now traversing through the relative ease of that hanging ice block. And he still has three minutes left. This is exactly what we were talking about, Kendra. I Pace, love it. Precision, creativity. Dengin has all of them in abundance. So he's hanging now, almost inverted. I'm going to call that a corkscrew. I just made that up. It's not called that. <laughs> and he's climbing down into the apple. Of course, Chung Song, very famous for its apples. Makes clip number eight. Deborah's asking me here, what is a full under? An un full under would be an undercling and not a stein pull either, where you can put the head of the tool against the wall. It's way easier to explain them as we see them with those. Yep. But basically the axe is upside down and an under and a stein are differed or, or differentiated by the position of the head. We'll explain those as you see it, it's way easier. Dengin is now moving off that intellect hold. The intellect holds are a blend of two materials. One is a small steel plate. The other is a polyethylene surface. The red is out of bounds. The steel plate is the only part you can use. Dengin moves up with the right hand to that next hold and is still moving very confidently. Makes that next move into the Stein and as clip number nine. This is the high point. We haven't seen anybody else get to this point yet. And of course, there are 13 clips to this route. One minute and 12 seconds remain. Dengen needs to keep that pace going now. No time to lose. Big left hand. And look at that. He's got that in the reverse grip. Switches to the right hand. Nice little traverse section here. He's going to press out. Big shoulder move for that left hand. Engages the core. Crowd is yelling at him to keep moving. Go, go. 21 seconds remain for Alexei Dengin of Russia. Still a long way to the top of that route. Big lock off that left hand for the right. Readjusts, he's got less than 10 seconds. Five, four, he sticks it! Alexei Dengin will finish there just above clip 10 and just below clip 11. But that's a solid effort from the Russian. That was a great climb. What do you think, Kendra? Will he be happy with that? I think he had fun, climbed well. He'd love to be on top. He definitely wants to top. Absolutely would. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> Dengen, you nutter! <laughs> he loves it! That's awesome. He literally just jumped to that barrel. He wanted to do that move so much. Look, that he, he'd seen this move from the floor. Look at that! That was an all points <laughs> off dino! I cannot wait to get to that move in the competition. Someone has got to get there. Hyung Park.
Dreza, Safdarian, who's going to do it? 